why has the DA decided to boycott the Kanda committee? The Nkanda committee, in our view, if it worked well, was designed to hold those who are responsible to account, but equally so to call President Zuma as a key principal whose property this we're discussing. And then thirdly, to make sure that the position of the public protector is upheld. What started to happen and is happening now at the ad hoc committee is that the ANC has set it in order to ignore the public protector's report, in fact, just to note it and not even to compel the president to comply with it. But then furthermore, also to undermine her role constitutionally and equate it to that of the SIU. And so we felt not in good standing could we allow a parliamentary committee to become one that is a farce and we needed to withdraw out of it in order that, in fact, we can we can consider other avenues that will ultimately hold the people responsible to account. Okay. How do you think this affects the legis legitimacy of the committee's work? Oh, I think the committee may correlate, but it's not legitimate. It becomes an ANC talk shop, and in fact, they can... They might just as well have been holding it at Lituli House, for that seems to be the line they are going to take. Uh, it certainly can't be a considerable committee that uh, that is designed in being able to achieve the outcomes that South Africans wanted to achieve, which is accountability.